people of the blue zones eat sweets and today we will show you what kind of sweets they eat exactly. The frosting you see on top of this cake has no sugar added. Instead, we are using an ancient traditional Mediterranean natural sweetener that very few people know about. Let's get started. We are using wholemeal flour instead of traditional white flour, 220 grams, which is about one and a half cup. Adding two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a combo of our favorite spices, which include two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one fourth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, one fourth of a teaspoon of ground cloves, and one fourth of a teaspoon of ground ginger. If you like cardamom, you can use it as well. And for the touch of sweetness, we are using brown sugar instead of traditional white sugar. Not much, only 130 grams, which is about one third of a cup. And we don't want any pockets of baking powder or spices in our batter, so go ahead and give it a good stir. And now for more delightful sweetness, we want to grab about eight dried apricots and dice them. These tiny superfood heroes will pack our cake with additional health and goodness. And another amazing ingredient we're adding are Corinthian black raisins, so about half a cup, and these are typically Greek. And the next thing we want to do is grab a sour apple that's quite juicy and peel it. And then using whichever method suits you best, you just grate this apple. Now we used our traditional hand grater here. After you've grated the apple, make sure to sprinkle it with literally a few drops of fresh lemon juice. This will preserve its beautiful natural color. So the pumpkin here is about 250 grams peeled and now we're going to use the same grater to grate it as well. And now this time of the year the pumpkins are so juicy and so sweet. So make the most of that amazing and healthy seasonal ingredient. Using seasonal ingredients is another main principle of the Mediterranean way of eating. So now we're adding the grated apple and the grated pumpkin to our dry ingredients. Don't forget to add those amazing black raisins and the diced apricots. Just make sure to leave some aside. We'll use them later to garnish our cake and make it even more beautiful. And now you want to combine those ingredients. Not too much, you don't have to stir for a long time, just a little bit. We are just preparing the batter to add the wet ingredients, which is the next step. So here comes the honey, good quality Greek thyme honey, which is famous for its health benefits. We are adding two tablespoons here. And here we've got an amazing ingredient, which is kefir, a superstar gut friendly ingredient. We're adding 120 milliliters here, which is half a cup. And now for the oil, you've got three choices. You could add olive oil only to keep it super healthy. You could use another lighter oil like sunflower oil, or you can mix those two. And this is what we usually do here in Greece. So let's go ahead and add uh, 120 milliliters of a combination of sunflower and olive oil. And it took me literally one minute to combine our batter effortlessly with my traditional wooden spoon. It should look something like that. And because you love simple, delicious and healthy cakes, the next two videos you should definitely watch are a chocolate devil cake that's actually good for you and our oatmeal apple pie, which is the easiest ever, no flour, no eggs added. We've lined our favorite square uh, baking tray, which is nine by nine inches or 23 centimeters with some parchment paper. So now here comes the batter, start from the middle section of the tray and spread it nicely. And time to place it in the oven, middle section of a preheated oven, 355 degrees Fahrenheit, which equals 180 degrees Celsius for about 45 minutes. And here comes the best part of this recipe, the frosting, made with fresh, delightful Greek yogurt and our natural secret healthy sweetener. So we won't be using any sugar here at all. You want to grab 200 grams of natural Greek yogurt, combine it with 200 grams of any unsalted cream cheese you have available. We like mascarpone. Using your hand mixer on low, beat it for literally one minute just to combine it. 
and here comes our sweetener. This is called Petimezi syrup. It's traditional grape syrup made in Greece. So add that grape syrup to the frosting, beat it on low again for about half a minute and once your cake is cooled down completely you can start decorating it with the frosting and with some additional dried apricots and we're gonna sprinkle it with additional petimezi syrup on top to make it amazingly beautiful. And we are using two teaspoons here but if you like it sweeter you can use three. And here is a little trick you can uh, apply to unmold your cake with confidence. This is the traditional way to do it. Next week we embark on another culinary adventure together. So see you next week. Before that, go ahead and print this recipe out visiting our blog. It's www.mediterraneankitchenet.com where you can also grab your free ebook which is called Budget Friendly Blue Zones Recipes. We created this ebook here for you so you can start your Blue Zones longevity journey today. Be sure to check it out. Thanks so much for cooking with us today. See you next week. Maggie and Eva, love from Athens. Bye-bye.